Joey, congratulations on being the joint winner of this season's John Thomas McNamara series for Claim and Amateurs. Yourself and David Doyle, top of the table after the last leg on Easter Monday. Um, great to win this. Yeah, it's great. Um, it's a great series to give lads opportunities, um, to show what people, what we can do. Um, it was great to be joint, but it'd be nice if I could do, win it on my own, but sure that's the way it happened. And you were unfortunate on Monday in the Hunter's Chase. You fell, you did in that where you were probably going to finish fourth, which would have given you the outright um, winning of the series. Yeah, I was kind of thinking turning in there, I'm going to finish fourth, and then I was on the ground. But sure, that's, that's, that's it the way it goes. Yeah. But better, better, better to share it than 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 not win it. Um, things are going well for you in that series alone. Yeah, you, you got three winners on the board, which you would imagine would be good enough to win it. But David Doyle did well getting a winner and a few uh, placed horses. Is that's why you shared it? Tell us about the winners that you rode. You started off in Sligo in the maiden hurdle on Charm and Fortune for Gavin Cromwell. Yeah, um, Charm and Fortune. He was kind of an unexpected winner. He always worked well, but he never showed on the track. Um, and that day, I think he trained a double in Cheltenham that day, and he was a third leg of a, or a treble. Um, he was very good that day. Um, and then my second winner was Cristiano Moraldo for Philip Rothwell. That was a nice. That was a nice. He was 50 to 1. He, he was unexpected as well. Um, but no, it was great. And then the third winner was Mara Connie for Ray Hackett. Um, that was in punches Town. Yeah, um, we fancied him, so it was great to get the three winners. Kind of all my winners this season was in the series, so um, you know it's very good to get opportunities like that. Like you said, uh, it's a great opportunity for you lads, and it's a good mix of different races: bumpers, hurdles, chases, and hunter chases as well. Then, yeah, you're riding in every kind of a race. Um, it's kind of easier to get the rides in the handicaps than the hunters chases, and that because nearly most of the Big riders point to point in, have a seven pound claim, so it's kind of harder, but look, I've been lucky, I've gotten on a few, I've nearly had a ride in every race, I probably should have been placed on one for Ian Donahue, but it's kind of my fault, but I won't say much about that. And um, going into Monday then, you knew you couldn't lose because David wasn't riding in the race, and of course you were then. Yeah, I was riding, but I thought if Stephen O'Connor could get riding, and if he won it, he could do the two of us, but thankfully he no ride either. Okay, and uh, in terms of you spread yourself out uh, well throughout a week, you're here in Dennis Murphy's twice a week, so that covers you for the point-to-point end of things. You're with Ian Dunne, who's a great supporter of yours as well, two days a week, and you go into Robert Hector and you go into Peter Flood as well, so you're well spread between Wexford and Kildare. Yeah, um, look, Dennis has been very good to me this season, last season. Ian Dunne, who's an exceptional supporter of mine, I've gotten loads of rides and plenty of winners off him. Um, I go into him twice a week and only start going into Rob Tector's there and sure, Peter Flood as well and hopefully I can get going for them all and see what happens. My apologies to me saying Kildare, I mean Meads. Mead, yeah. Um, of course. Um, but it's good for that to be able to spread yourself out. You, you, you do get plenty of rides on the track and point to points, whereas a lot of lads like you are kind of, you know, just stuck to one, whether it's track or point to points. Yeah, I'm going to spread out, but that's kind of thanks to Gavin Cromwell. He got me going on the track, and then I could spread myself out in the point-to-point yards. But a big thanks to Gavin Cromwell. He gave me plenty of rides and plenty of winners on the track and got me going. You won on some him. good horses uh, for Gavin, didn't you? Yeah, I rode, I think, I, I got 10 winners for Gavin. Yeah. Um, I won on Let's Be Clear, but he's running away in grade ones and that. He was fourth in the Albert Bartlett there last year. and no, He gave me some real good opportunities, and... I can't thank him enough. And you enjoy being down here in Wexford with Dennis and Robert Hector? Yeah, no, it's very good schooling the whole time. Um, more schooling the better. And right now for Dennis, so he has the likes of Jamie Codge through his hands, and you know, he's very good, man. Um, yourself and David now will both get a, a 500 euro check from the Qualified Riders Association, who obviously put this money up for this series so uh, nice to get a few bob back over as well yeah it is um, it looks a great series you see people there they might get their first ride in the series and could be their first ride ever on the track and some people even ride their first winner so it's very good for us young lads trying to start off and get going properly good well well done and um, you look forward to your presentation which take place in Punchestown Festival yeah thanks very much thank you